Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, this video is about uh, calculation of uh, covariance correlation and two forms of correlation. The one method of uh, Pearson and the other one is for uh, Spearman's rank correlation. Uh, we uh, will use very simple data where we have uh, two observations for X variable and two observations for Y variable. Here we learn that how we can get these correlation coefficient or covariance manually. Uh, now, for example, we have the data like uh, this one. This is our X variable. Then uh, we have this Y variable. This is our y variable. Now look at the formula in covariance. We have in numerator, we have summation x minus x bar. So it means we need x bar. To get x bar and y bar, we first sum it. So this is our two, one plus two, three sum of x, and then sum of y equal to zero plus one. Now we, we know that x bar is calculated summation x by n. So here 3 is divided by n is 2, we'll get this 1.5. And then for y bar summation y divided by n, we will get 1 divided by 2.5. Now we calculate deviation because in the formula you can see that we have x minus x bar and then y minus y bar. Now, first of all, we calculate x minus x bar, x minus x bar this one and then y minus y bar and then we sum it to check that whether mean deviation is zero or mean because we know that the division from mean is always zero so in both cases it is zero now look at the formula again we have this product term means we should multiply x minus x bar and y minus y bar so we have multiplied and after multiplying we will add so these two values we will add. If you have uh, larger data, then definitely you will have to add all those values. Here in this case, we have only two values. So after adding these 0 0.25, 0 0.25, we will get 0.5, and it is a basic value of numerator that is mission x minus x bar into y minus y bar. So in the formula, this numerator is divided by number of observations that is n. In this case, we have two. So our numerator is 0.5, and denominator is 0.2. So covariance is 0.25. So it, you can see that it is a lengthy formula uh, and uh, uh, for manual calculation, uh, we use computational formula and here this is computational formula that is very much easy. So we need only sum of x, sum of y and the summation x, y. So just look at this data. This is your sum of x. Then sum of y, sum of x is 3, sum of y is 1, and then product of x and y, and it is basically 2. Now, in numerator, we have n summation x, y minus summation x into summation y. While putting all this value, we will get 1. And then uh, for denominator, uh, if uh, you uh, here you can see that in denominator uh, we have n square. So here uh, we will get uh, the value of n square. That is this one uh, part two, and that is four. Now if we divide the numerator by denominator, uh, we should have a point two five here. Let me check that uh, what is the problem here because it is showing uh, here I have divided by two, basically it is by four. So the answer is again 0.24 and it is uh, very much easy. Now just look at, uh, uh, we have uh, learned two calculations, so means two different, by using two different formulas to get uh, the covariance value manually. Even we can use uh, to check it, uh, covariance formula. Here we have this uh, covariance formula in Excel, so you can use this covariance formula. Now for uh, 
correlation. Now look at the first formula for correlation, that is Pearson correlation. In most of the software, it is available. Numerator is seen as in case of covariance. Uh, correlation is characterized covariance as well. And in computational formula, again, the numerator is same as you can judge it from covariance formula. Now, first of all, we apply this, uh, this formula. Now, for this formula, you can see that uh, we need x minus x bar square and then sum and then y minus y bar square and sum. In this data, we have already this x minus x1 bar and then y minus y bar. Just we will take its summation and then we will take y minus y bar summation, uh, sorry, square. And then we will add. Uh, so square of x minus x bar minus 0.5 is 0.25 and then 0.25 and then just add we are getting these two values that we are required in uh, our correlation formula. Now again first the numerator is same that we have calculated in uh, our covariance formula but in dominate in denominator we should first multiply these two sum first and then second and then we will take under root so uh, here multiply 0 0.5 and then 0 0.5 and then after taking under root we will get the 0 0.5 so correlation coefficient is one that is perfect correlation between two variables again we can use or uh, we can apply uh, the second formula and here in the second formula, we the numerator is same. We need summation x square and then we need summation y square. So we have generated to another column x square and then y square column and then we have made sum. So here by applying this formula, the numerator is same as we have already calculated in covariance and in denominator. First, we will get uh, this value d1 and summation x square minus summation x square, it will give you one. And then n summation y square minus summation y square, it will also give one. Multiply these two values and taking under root, we will get this denominator value one and one divided by one. Uh, we have correlation coefficient on the same. And you can see that uh, it is very easy uh, to calculate correlation coefficient manually uh, by using this uh, uh, computational formula. And now regarding uh, the space metric correlation, uh, we have this formula, 1 minus summation 6d square n into n square minus 1. Uh, so here we need the d. Now what is d? First we rank the first variable according to sending order, and then we rank the second uh, variable according to descending order. Here you can see that here, highest value for first variable is 46, so its rank is one. Then second highest, uh, we have another data uh, that for example, we have two subjects, research and qualitative and quantitative subjects, and these are the scores uh, that uh, 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 the total marks are 50, and these are a print score. Now here, uh, then the second highest is this one, 45, so its rank is two. And then the third highest is 40 and rank is three. And the last one is 36. In the same way, we can rank uh, the second variable. These are the ranks of first variable and these are the ranks of second variable. Now, after taking the rank, then we will uh, calculate uh, difference, four minus two, and then we will take it square. Four minus two, two, four square, two minus four again. Uh, two square, four square, one minus one, zero, zero square, zero, and then. And after taking, and then we have uh, definitely a fifth uh, observation as well. Also, uh, uh, like this one, 12, so in first variable. So uh, it depends the number of observation. For example, if you, you will have 100 observation, uh, manually it is uh, very difficult uh, to rank uh, uh, these. For example, if you have 100 observation, so we use software. Uh, like uh, this uh, is available in spaces as well. Now, after calculating differences and taking square, so summation d square is eight. And now, this is our numerator. So numerator is 48. And in denominator, in second part, 
n into n square minus 1, uh, that is we have 120. Because we have uh, uh, five values and after taking this, uh, and then we have divided it by, uh, uh, sorry, this is uh, after divided denominator by denominator, we are getting this 0.4 and then it is subtracted from one. So correlation coefficient here is 0.6. And now in my next video, I will explain that uh, how we can measure, uh, sorry, how we can calculate, how we can observe, uh, we can get uh, these measure of association uh, in different software like uh, in Excel, eViews, SPSS, uh, and uh, in Python. And definitely in Python, uh, because in SPSS our view, eViews are in Excel, we have limited uh, observe, uh, limited these measures of variation. But in Python, uh, you can get uh, many more. Like I have uh, explained, 15 different measure of association. Thank you very much for watching this.